Your perspective on life is the willpower and the will to what you get out of life. Tomorrow is a seed that grows and germinates from how well you fuel and water it today. You must believe in God that the problem before you is a stepping stone to bigger and better doors for you. Have the belief that before any opening, there must be adversities to contend with. Before any opening, you must force your way through the door to enter through. That problem that is confronting you today and making you feel bitter is the ladder to your rising and lifting. Endure it because God would honor you through that problem. Joseph did not get back at those who did evil to him. He even told them that they did him good because it was through the evil they planned that God used to honor him and make him a deliverer unto them. The Bible did not also record that he went back after Potiphar to punish him and his family. He took over as second in command to serve the whole nation. It may tarry, it may take a little, but surely it would happen and you would be celebrated. The honor that would follow would outweigh the present pain and hardship you thought you faced. You will not remember the problems and difficulties you faced. David was another man who God decided to honor and lift him through the problems he faced. He was responsible and hardworking, but was forgotten by his brethren and even his father. He decided to assist and God granted him victory over the enemy of the people. But instead of being rewarded and honored, King Saul decided to take his life and he was on the run, running from cave to cave, city to city, seeking for refuge. A man who was supposed to be respected and honored became a fugitive, running for his life. The problem was too much for him to bear that even people mocked him. The enemies he defeated previously also laughed at him, but he did not take it to heart. He knew God has exalted him, and it was only a matter of time before he would see the manifestation. When he had the opportunity to end the life of King Saul, he refused to take it into his hands and left it for God to handle it his own way. And the way God did it was unique, stressless and guiltless on him. If David had killed Saul, he would have lived with that guilt forever and would have no form of moral standing before the people of Saul and Jonathan. But God handled it his own way and honored David through his faithfulness and respect. It is not your battle to fight to end the problem or prove your innocence. You might have been accused in the office or place of engagement, and those behind it want to frustrate you out of the way. Probably you have seen an avenue you can use to get back at them. That is not what you should do. Allow God to handle it his own way. When David became king, he looked for means to bless the family of Saul and Jonathan and not inflict the pain and suffering he went through in the hands of Saul on his family. This is also what you should have in mind. The problem is not presented by the person. It is your quick pathway to rising. And if you endure and walk through it faithfully, God would reward you. Daniel was another man who faced problems and persecution, but he endured and allowed God to honor and reward him. He found himself in a foreign land with so many foreign practices and customs. He found favor and love before every king that ruled and others envied him and conspired to have him killed. They knew his secret was in God and through his communication with him when he prayed and they decided to make the king pass a decree that nobody should pray. Daniel did not take it to heart or decide to retaliate against them. They caught him praying and took him to the lion's den. But God kept him alive there and all those who conspired against him were thrown into the lion's den and none of them survived. But Daniel did, and it was passed that all must reverence and acknowledge the God of Daniel. This is also similar to the experience of his three friends, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. 
They faced problems and difficulties, but they kept their faith and believed in God. And God saw them through and honored them through that problem. Hold on to God in that problem that has presented itself before you. Do not doubt or throw away your belief. God is there with you. He came for the three friends, even in the fire, and they were spared and made news through their darkness and resilience. God wants to make a story out of your case, and it can only be possible if you would endure. He would show up at the very minute when it looks like the end has come. When others were being negative, Joshua and Caleb remained positive about them conquering the land, and God honored them, while others who went with them died and could not enter the promised land. God kept and sustained them, and they were able to see and enter the promised land while others died. God honored Ruth through her problem. God honored Esther and Mordecai through their problem. God honored Hannah through her childlessness, and God would also honor you today through the problem and storm that is fighting against you. That problem would not see your end if you decide that you would see its end. That problem cannot swallow you if you are determined to let God honor and lift you through it. See it as your examination to the next level, and that is how it would be. For every next entry, there is a price to be paid, and the problem that has presented itself is the test and price you must pay well to pass through. Do not fail in the test. Allow God to honor and lift you through it. It must end for your good. Be like Abraham and allow God to honor you through that problem. Be like blind Bartimaeus and expect your honor from God. You must carry the spirit of a fighter and must not give up until you win and see the end. Quitters never win. There is joy after every battle won. There's light at the end of the tunnel. You must keep up to get to the end. You must embrace difficulties and problems because they are the access to the other side. A soldier cannot win tithes and names to himself if he has not been in battles and won. A sailor is not recognized if he has not seen storms and sailed through. Your mark and identity in life is measured by the problems you face and how you allow God to honor you out of it and not how you gave up instead of waiting on God.